It's like my last 40 minutes in the hotel. I'm just like throwing everything away, cleaning up. I'm doing room service for them because I'm gonna fix the bed sheets too. And I'm just making sure I'm not leaving anything behind. I don't think I need anything behind. I think so. everything I think everything is in the luggage. And if it's not in the luggage, then I have an excuse to come back. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just throwing everything away. <sighs> My final outfit in Los Gatos, which I'm the night. We have the Goshka New shirt from the Opulence collection, which you can purchase now. Opulence expansion coming August 25th. And these pants. Coincidentally, this outfit is the same outfit I wore to Disneyland when I went back this year. But, huh. I just read it in Opulent Day in Paradise. 10.59. Yep, I fixed that clock. <sighs> One more minute till they evict me out of my room. <laughs> Oh my god, so sad. I'm gonna throw that away. I ended up not eating the salad because it was expired and I was just like, oh, I don't want to risk it. So, <sighs> one minute left. I am gonna miss this little room. I really am. A lot of memories. A lot of laughs. A lot of love. It's 11. Okay, let's go. They're evicting me out. Okay, good. Let's go. <laughs> now, this is the scary walkway I took yesterday to get to the festival. Like, walking through the freeway entrance is an exit. Oh my god. <laughs> so scary but thankfully every time there hasn't been a car that has to come by there's a car that's coming by right now no okay so i'm gonna go eat walk around the city shop for some last minute souvenirs and then i'm gonna head back to pick up my luggage i did more damage i'm so sorry i did more damage i know i know just some merchandise to take home <sighs> now i'm just strategizing how i'm gonna put it in the luggage or how i'm gonna take it but what that i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take it okay so i just took this shot right here this is the chlorophyll shot I didn't taste anything at the beginning, but like the very nice girl at Press Juice 3. Oh, dropped it. Hold up. Hold up. The very nice girl at Press Juice 3 told me this would have like a earthy aftertaste. She's not wrong. It tastes like I just drank dirt, but it's supposed to be good for me. So I'm just, I'm going to let it live in my stomach. It's also supposed to be good for energy. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired because I walked so much yesterday. I mean, yesterday was like a walking day. I called, like in total, I think yesterday I called, see, did I call an Uber yesterday or no? I don't remember. Oh no, I, did I? My teeth are green. <laughs> my teeth are green. Uh, no, I didn't. On total yesterday, I called one Uber. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> my tongue is green. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, on total, I called one Uber yesterday. Today, I'm also just gonna call one Uber, which is the Uber that's gonna take me to the airport. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. There's not a single ounce of me that's relieved to go back to LA. Just being completely honest, I love it here. I love it here. It's safe, it's nice. Everyone's really nice too. Everyone's really kind. And like, there's just some kind of hospitality here that you don't get in LA, which I love as well. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Maybe someday Koshka has their store, has our store here. You never know. But yeah, I'm just sitting here enjoying nature, talking to the nice people before I leave. We're gonna have to say goodbye to this very scary walkway. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like walking to the lodge right now to go pick up the luggage. Call the Uber, go to the airport, and sadly leave. I'm really sad to leave, by the way. That like I, I, I've been saying this, there's not a single ounce of me that is like excited to get back to LA. <laughs> like I just wanna stay here longer. But alas, I gotta go. So sad. Just made it through security. I'm at my gate and the flight is delayed. <sighs> Just had to happen. It only happened to me. Only me does this happen to, but anyways, now I have to wait two hours. <laughs> I mean, hey, two more hours here, which is nice. <laughs> oh, I'm going back home. This. <laughs> <sighs> I'm back home in LA. Oh my god, I've been here for 24 hours now. I know I haven't filmed anything within the past 24 hours. I've been here for 24 hours and honestly, I should have stayed over there for until next until next Monday. But sadly, I don't think my job would have allowed me, my day job would have allowed me, nor the clothing brand, nor anything else would have allowed me to stay there the whole week, the whole seven days. But <sighs> alas, I'm back here and let me tell you, a lot has happened. 
in the last 24 hours that I've been here. One, the depression has come back. Two, oh my god, it has been just, ugh, it's been horrendous coming back, let me tell you that. And also three, I went to the movie theaters today, I went to go see Jungle Cruise because I haven't been able to see it. The power went out in the theater. Yes, I know, as crazy as that sounds, that happened today. We were watching Jungle Cruise, we were in, like in the middle of the film and all of a sudden, poop, everything went dark. <laughs> I thought, this is it, I'm dying here. I thought I was gonna die in Los Gatos, I'm dying in LA, <sighs> oh my God. Just my luck, and then the emergency light came on. Everyone left, they gave us refunds, but oh my goodness. Anyways, I wanted to take the end of my birthday vlogs. I wanted to take this moment to really reflect on my trip and just how incredible it was. I mean, truthfully, it was some, it was an experience unlike anything I've had before because for starters, it was my first time ever traveling alone. Every time I've traveled, it's been with family. I've never traveled on my own, but for the first time ever, I finally traveled on my own. Somewhere completely new, I knew nobody. I didn't know where anything was. I only knew bits and pieces here and there, but I never knew the full extent of where I was going until I got there. And honestly, it was better than I could have ever expected. It's so much better going on my own to places like i just realized it's so much more fun it's so much better it's much less stressful traveling on my own and honestly i i enjoyed every moment of it i enjoyed going to the airport i enjoyed being on the plane i enjoyed getting off of the plane getting my luggage getting the uber going to my hotel being in my hotel it's so much less stressful traveling on my own and i know it's not for everyone to travel on their own i know that there's people who need to have somebody with them to travel with or else they don't feel good and i thought i was going to be one of those people i thought i was going to be one of those people that would call my mom and tell her come pick me up here five hours away from where you are but there wasn't a single moment throughout my entire trip where I wanted to go home like there wasn't a single moment out of the many many days many many hours and many many minutes I was in Los Gatos five hours away from home there was not a single moment in my head that told me I want to go home or I need to go home or I kind of feel like going home not at all I felt so happy, I felt so free, I felt so incredible, I felt amazing being in that part of California that I've never been in before. And you know, it re reignited my faith in humanity <laughs> to some degree. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it's true. I mean, my faith in humanity has like, like it was here, it's here, <laughs> it's here. It was didn't lift too much, but it lifted just enough. But. Um, I had such a wonderful time and I know I didn't do like a lot of crazy things there even though there was a lot of fun things to do I mean Santa Cruz Beach was there I didn't go there the Apple infinite loop was there but like everyone who was like in the area told me I don't know if there's anything you can do there aside from going to the store which is the same as the other Apple stores and I was like but they have exclusive things they were like oh I don't know so I was just like you know what I'm not gonna go I'll go for the next trip so next trip to Los Gatos I am going to Cupertino I'm going to the Apple loop but um the mall <laughs> the mall just oh my god the mall blew my mind to this day i'm so blown away by the valley fair mall i'm just like oh my goodness that is it's insane it's insane how you have to go there guys if you are in california and you want to travel um i do this is one thing i do agree with the governor you should travel in california if you live in california i recommend you travel within the state not just because it's important to stimulate the economy of the state and to you know bring us back to where we were or back them better than ever but also you know the state is huge california is huge um California isn't just LA and Long Beach and San Francisco when we're done. I mean, there's many other cities between those two, before those two and after those two that have their own unique environment, that have their own unique hospitality. And Los Gatos is one of those cities that just has its own unique hospitality. And there's, there's like a warmth and a kindness to it and a charm to it that there isn't in LA and there isn't in San Francisco. I mean, everyone's really nice. Everyone's really embracing and welcoming. 
I would walk down the streets and like everyone, most people, like 99% of people would wave at me or give me like a nod or like say hi or how are you. And you know, that's, not, that's something that you don't experience here in LA. I mean, here in LA, you have to really cinch your bag up to your waist. You have to like hide your jewelry. You have to hide your iPad. You have to hide your phone. You have to not wear too much expensive things you have to not show too much diamonds in certain places or else people will shoot you and steal your stuff however in los gatos i mean there isn't it's clean it's like a really clean city unlike la which there's garbage everywhere um it was a clean city i mean there was like trash cans dedicated to pizza boxes <laughs> and you know there wasn't an ounce of like litter or garbage in the streets also um there's a homeless problem here in Los Gatos. There was only one homeless and he chose to be homeless. I mean, that's what they told me. Like, he wants to be homeless. So, he's just homeless here. So, I'm just like, okay. <laughs> and, um, you know, he was the only homeless there within the whole city. And I didn't see a single homeless person aside from that. And, like I said, everyone in the area just has a different aura to them than they have here. And it's wonderful and it's beautiful and i definitely want to go back there i 100 percent want to go back there plus realistically it's not that far away from me if i go on a plane it's a 30 minute plane so that's great and that's amazing and the accessibility to go there is incredible it's not like me wanting to go to new york which is like a six hour flight obviously that's not as accessible as going to los gatos which is a 30 minute flight from here to san jose airport Oh my god. One thing I didn't tell you guys is that Expedia, since I booked this trip with Expedia, not sponsored by Expedia, I don't want to be sponsored by Expedia, but Expedia told me the closest airport to that area was SFO. And then when I got there, everyone told me there's SJC, which is like 10 minutes from Los Gatos, and the Uber ride would have been a lot more cheaper because let me tell you, the Uber from San Francisco airport to the hotel where I was staying at when I got there was a hundred and five dollars and obviously I had to pay it because I had no other way of getting to the hotel but then when I went back like when it was time to leave it ended up being sixty six dollars because I went before rush hour but yeah it was like a hundred dollars to get from the from the airport to the hotel it was crazy but aside from that also I should mention this right now coming back was like crazy i didn't vlog too much of it because i was already upset and i was already mad because i had told my mom i'm getting there at 6 50 and then they're like nope the plane has been delayed you're gonna arrive at 7 25 then nope you have you have you're in gate you're in gate b6 you have to go to gate b5 no go back to gate b6 no go back to gate b5 the plane isn't here we don't know where it's gonna be landing and then after that nope flight delayed again you're not getting home until 8 30. so i was supposed to arrive home at 6 50. i didn't end up arriving until 8 30 like an hour and 20 minutes later i was just 40 minutes actually and now we're in 40 minutes later and i was just like oh my goodness this is the one thing i don't like i don't like when the plane gets delayed it got delayed arriving and then it got delayed departing <sighs> but aside from that um, everything else went smoothly. Everything else went smoothly. Like, the people at SFO were really nice. Everyone was really nice and really kind. And, yeah, I mean, the atmosphere in Northern California is so much more different. And it's something that I enjoy and it's something that I want more of. And, you know, now I'm here in L.A. And I'm going to the movie theater was, like, a hassle in itself. Because going to the movie theater, I saw, like... 20 homeless people and then when the power went out there was dudes who wanted to start fighting in the theater lobby and security had to come in and like push them out and it was just insanity and that's just not what happened over there so you know to some degree i do agree with billy eilish when she says when i'm away from you i'm happier than ever she refers to a guy i'm referring to the city of los angeles when i'm away from you i'm happier than ever <laughs> uh, i mean there's nice parts to la but sadly the bad outweighs the good anyways back to la but anyways i keep saying anyways a lot i'm so sorry i've tried to cut it out of all the vlogs i'm gonna end this vlog here hopefully i can go back before this year ends if not early next year i mean the next 
the last four months of the year are always the busiest months for me so it's hard for me to like squeeze in a trip or squeeze in something for myself i mean not only is it busy with me personally but now with my day job it gets crazy i mean with any job it gets crazy during the holidays because there's such a demand for everything so it's gonna get really busy and um especially with youtube i'm gonna get really really busy with youtube there's a lot of things coming your way on my channel in the next couple of months which i'm excited about but aside from that i'm gonna end this vlog here thank you so much for sticking by me through my birthday trip i truly appreciate it i i've been seeing some comments from some of you guys who are from Los Gatos and I'm just gonna say you have a beautiful city you have an incredible city I can't wait to go back there I know it's gonna be incredible and I know I'm going to be welcomed with the same open arms that I was welcomed with for the very first time and I will never forget that experience so thank you thank you thank you to anyone in Los Gatos who was really nice to me I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and thank you so much to all of you for sticking by these vlogs I also really appreciate it, it means a lot to me and that's it and i will see you next time for another video goodbye